Hey guys, I'm 13 here. I'm just getting the tire changed on my scooter and I came across something interesting that I've never really heard about before. Uh, I'm using a Power Pure and it's a good tire. And uh, it's, it's the same, same tire I got on my Ninja right now. And, uh, but this is the interesting thing. He says this tire is normally a front tire. So to put it on the back, you need to reverse the direction. And I'm like, what? That doesn't sound right. Like, where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, see? Here it says front and it points this way and the tire of course is going to be turning this way so it's got an arrow right here front and turn this way and when I drive it's going to be going the opposite direction so 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 does that so for those of you that know about tires you're like oh yeah that makes sense you've reversed the direction um, it sounds it's like it doesn't make sense but I, I, I didn't really believe him but I confirmed it by checking out this over here check this out here you have matching tires. This is for the front and this is for the rear. So this is the front tire and this is the rear tire. And if you look at their tread patterns, they're reversed. They're the exact same tire, front, rear. The only real difference is, is that their tread patterns are opposite one another. So the same thing applies. If you took this front tire and you wanted to put it on a rear, all you would need to do is reverse it and then they're matching. So, yeah, it's odd, isn't it? Like, I didn't believe him. I was like, why would you, you know, the tire's made to go one direction. You don't, there's this tire. Here, let me show you. This is a front tire and this is a rear tire. And then, check the arrows. This is the rear and it's supposed to go, it's supposed to be like this. And this is a front and it's supposed to be like, where's the arrow? Where's the arrow? It's supposed to be like this. But when you look at the, at, the, at the groove patterns, they're actually opposite. But that's the way it's supposed to be. This is the correct, this is a front tire and it's facing the right direction. And this is a rear tire and it's facing the right direction. And you see the air, like the, the grooves are, are reversed. So he says if you take a front tire and you put it on the rear, you have to reverse it. And the same thing with a rear tire. If you take a rear tire and put it on the front, you've got to reverse it. And when you reverse it, you actually see that they, 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 they match. But my question is why, and this is like, like I said, like right now they're all, you would assume, one would assume it would just be like this, right? Like matching patterns, matching directions on the bike. But this is, but this is actually correct according to the factory because they have arrows on the tires here that are, that say this is the correct direction. So this is their original position on a, on a, on a bike, reversed. Why do they do that? Why would it, you know, because you would, you, you would assume the water goes in here and then it gets pushed out. But on this, why would why would you? Yeah. But yeah, but but I didn't believe him at first. But then once I saw these two tires that actually have arrows. This is a, see, see, this is a front tire and the arrow points this way, and this is a rear tire and the arrow. This is a rear and the arrow points this way. So this is the correct. So normally they're opposite one another, which is interesting. Why why, why would tires do that? Anyone know? <laughs>